Hi, this is Dr. Joe, Adventures with Dr. Joe. I have an old lathe that I really, really liked for pen turning, but the belts got old, totally disintegrated, and I've had a doozy of a time trying to find one. So I think we have an opportunity to make a new belt, custom sized, that may work for this lathe. Let's take a look at the lathe. So this is the lathe, it's an old Harbor Freight, direct drive, variable speed. Before we're going to work on it, let's kind of take these, let's take the tool bar off, the tool rest. And we can probably take the tailstock off, there we go. So now, we just have the lathe body. Right in here are the pulleys and there are two with variable speed and I got some polyurethane material that's supposedly able to make some belts let's take a look at that so this is where the the belts would ride and I took my caliper and I measured basically the diameter or the sorry the width of the pulley which will be the diameter of the belt and I got about 4.78 or about five millimeters and that's consistent with this with this other side too this is a little bit bigger five right there 4.5 so approximately five millimeters I thought would be be a good fit so I purchased this material 10 feet of 5 millimeter diameter polyurethane and supposedly I have my doubts you're supposed to be able to cut this to length heat it they recommend under an alcohol lamp and put the tips together well let's take a look and see if we can do that one of the things I was encouraged about with this belt or this re belt replacement is I don't have to take the this drive spline out. Otherwise, I'd have to take it out of here, pull these two bearings. Now that I've got this as a cord, I can bring it up and over, identify the amount, and basically seal it together while it's in place here, already wrapped around this pulley. And I won't have to take this piece out, which is a real advantage. I'm going to try to sneak it in here and uh, see if I can get it looped around that. The reason I got 10 feet of this is I thought I'd probably screw up a few times. And it was not that much more expensive than a few feet. So I'm going to try to sneak it down here. I'm going to tip this over. This lathe, although it's small, is pretty heavy. It's pretty substantial cast iron okay there it comes I'll sneak it back up here all right that is excellent I'll put it on the, the nice pulley here back up and we'll mark the redundancy and I've got this magic marker to mark it I'll mark it just a teeny bit long because I'm assuming that when we melt the ends we're going to lose a little bit of length. Okay, I took it off the bottom pulley, which we can reconnect once it's done. And then here's the length I marked. All right, I've committed. 
So now we're going to see if we can get this to work. Heat the ends, fuse them together, and see if we can <laughs> see if we can make a new pulley for this old lathe. Okay, we got the propane torch and we've got the polyurethane and this is the this is consistent with that curve I'll put a little mark on this side also so we can line them up properly I'm sure that'll burn off alright well let's heat up the ends okay I'm gonna heat up the ends oh, they're getting hot and fully melted okay we're gonna put them together Try to keep them linear. I'm far away from the flame. Probably could use an assistant to help me cool this off, but what are you going to do? pretty good so far. I've got some water here. Cool it off. take a look I've got a utility knife to scrape the little excess off because I want it to be pretty smooth I'll get a little piece of wood to cut against that all right I put a new blade on my utility knife Make it smooth, otherwise it's gonna go doom doom doom. Try to carve off the small amount of excess we've got here. It feels pretty strong. We'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, you can see here's the belt. I got it through, so I have it on the on the newer pulley. Does seem like it's a little bit loose, huh? I'll be darned. Let's give it some. Let's give it some juice. Turn it on and see what happens. Okay, it works. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. This this lathe hasn't been working for years. Wow. Neat. To me, the belt's a little bit loose. So I may have to cut it and do that again to shorten it up just a little bit. But I think it's going to work. Okay, it works. Remarkable. It's a little long, so I'm just going to cut a segment out, heat it up, hook it back together again. I'm pretty amazed. This is a trial and error. We'll have our cooling rag here ready to go. I'm going to heat these back up. And there they go.
That was me fumbling. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just going to hold tight. This is pretty boring. I'll probably edit this out. Got it lined up. It's remarkable that this is a, has a strong hold. I'm just really amazed. off with this wet rag man we might have a functioning lathe this is really great let this really cool off and then we'll trim it again and give it a shot okay I've got the new shortened belt on it seems to have a good fit it's not too tight uh, it makes a big difference with that I'm going to switch it to the other pulley and down in here also. Okay, let's try that. Well, there you go. This, polyur this polyurethane um, material comes in many diameters, three, four, five, etc. You can make a new pulley with this. You can make basically a replacement belt for a lathe, any kind of a machine that uses this. This is strong. The simple melting of the ends and putting it together does the trick. I'm really surprised and pretty happy. So here's an inexpensive way to take care of a problem that's been nagging me for a long time. And I've had the inability to find the correct length belt. This is it. So guys, gals, enjoy this. Super simple, very effective. Please subscribe. Please click like. Comments are always welcome. Stay safe.